Hi, boys and girls. Um, I'm here to read chapter 37, The Reunion, but first I thought it would be fun if I would show you around the classroom. I'm sure that you miss it. I got some files going on here. So I know that I missed it. So I just wanted to show you around. You can see your desk. I hope everybody's doing okay. And um, yeah, it's good to be back. So um, yeah, let that soak in for a little bit. Um, chapter 37, we're gonna try to um, do a couple chapters up here so that you guys can feel like you're in the classroom here, okay? Something was wrong with the cows. Their excited moves echoed out from the barn and across the farm. Roz sent the milk truck away for its evening deliveries and hurried off to see what the ruckus was about. When she stepped into the barn, she found the entire herd crowded together. As the robot started pushing her through, the cows turned to her and smiled. And then Roz saw him, her beloved son, Bright Bill. As you know, reader, robots don't feel emotions not the way animals do. But in that moment, in that barn, nobody had any doubt how Roz felt. She rushed forward and scooped her son into her arms. Right, Bill, she cried. Is that really you? Think about that moment. Think about who you would feel. Maybe you're going to feel like that when you finally get out of quarantine. Who are you going to want to see? Not for the people that are in your house, but maybe your friend, maybe a neighbor, a grandparent. It's really me, Bright Bill nuzzled his mother's face. But how did you find me, said Roz. Ma, you're famous. You were all anyone could talk about at the wintering grounds. It started with the flocks of geese that stopped here on their migrations. They shared your story with everyone they met. Your story spread from flock to flock, from north to south, from east to west. Eventually, your story made its way to me. I took off as soon as I heard you were where you were. I didn't even tell the others. But we caught up to him. Loudwing, the old goose, fluttered over the herd and gently landed on the cow's back. Brightbill wasn't the only one who wanted to see you, Raz. The rest of the flock appeared, and the robot found herself surrounded by old friends and family. Squawking and mooing and laughing and cheering filled the barn. But then came a loud, clear voice that only the robot understood. Roz, what are you doing? The animals hushed. Roz slowly turned around and there were Jaya and Jad standing in the doorway. The children had seen everything. Chapter 38, The Truth. Children can be very sneaky. And when Jaya and Jad heard the ruckus coming from the barn, they silently sneaked over to investigate. Now they were staring at a very strange scene indeed. Roz was standing in the middle of the barn, surrounded by the entire herd of cows. For some reason, the flock of geese was there as well, and one of the geese was being cradled in the robot's arms. But what most confused the children were the wild animal noises Roz had just been making. The thing is, children aren't just sneaky, they're also smart. And it didn't take long for Jaya and Jad to make sense of that strange scene. Those stories Rod told us about the robot on the island, said Jazz to his sister. They were about her. The goose in Roz's arms, said Jaya to her brother. That must be her son. All of Roz's stories came flooding back to the children. The robot, the island, the wild animals, the adventures. Those stories seemed so fanciful. Could they really be true? You are correct, children. Those robot stories are about me, admitted Roz with a hint of sadness in her voice. There were so many times that I wanted to tell you the truth about my past, but I was afraid the truth would frighten you. The robot motioned to the goose in her arms. This is my son. His name is Bright Bill. Reader, there's another important quality that children possess. 
in addition to being sneaky and smart, they're also compassionate. Children care about others and about the world. And as Jaya and Jad gazed at Roz and Brightbill, their little hearts were full of compassion. Please do not tell your father about me, said Roz. To him, I am just a machine. If he learns the truth, he will send me back to the robot factory where I will be destroyed. But you must do what you feel is right. My life is in your hands now. The children looked at each other and smiled. Don't worry, Raz. Your secret is safe with us.